The views and opinions of the hosts and guests are their own and do not necessarily reflect the position of the management and staff of Guardian Networks. Good morning and welcome to Guardian Radio AM. Today is... Why do I go blank? It's Monday, right? And it's Monday, December 19th. Am I correct? Yes, thank you very much, Kermak. I'm looking at it. It's that is definitely December 19th. And we are on our way to Christmas. It's about seven days left, or like six days left before Christmas. Um, today is going to be a good day because I have an open line. An open line. And the reason why I have an open line is because... As usual, uh, every so often this happens, my guest cancelled. So when my guest cancelled, we have an open line, and then we talk about what you want to talk about. And uh, I always have one or two things that I want to talk about, and to see your opinion. So we have the numbers are 323 And of course, you can text me at 422-GR96. And then we can have a conversation. Of course, um, whilst I was waiting and panicking that my guest wasn't coming, I said, Aaron, what you doing? And she said, okay, I can, I can stay back. I, can stay. I said, you willing to stay back with me? I said, that's such, that's such a good woman you are. Right? And but Aaron and I are kin. We we are family on that Hannah Hasey Tyne family tree. And then I tend to use that at my advantage and say, Hey, you know we family, you know. You know, and um and um because of that she was able to stay back and I'm able to continue the show. And I say, Aaron, can we do some more giveaways? And she says, Yeah, we have prices. I said, We have prices. I say, We even have a grand prize today. Um, so we can do that. And the grand prize today is a a gift voucher to the best fish, actually, which is our drifters. Drifter, drifters had the fry. And uh, we have a voucher for that. I need to look at my phone and see how much the dollar value is for that. But it's definitely for two people. And that tends to be great. Um, but Aaron, you, you're in? Because I hope you have some good questions that we can ask. And I have one or two things I want to talk about. And I see you have a list, always have a list of things that you want to talk about. And, and I, I, I already announced that it's an open line um, Monday. Nice. Right? Uh -huh. So uh, if, if, if the listening audience want to call in and say, hey, Aaron, um, let's hash things out. We can do that. Mm -hmm. The paper. Oh, yeah. You have one, my, your paper back or you, uh, it's my paper? Okay, it's your paper now. Oh, it's your paper. No, man, I, 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 I could go with, by your flow. Let me, I thought you know you have two papers. This is recession. Keep things. that one. That look good. Okay. But it look good with me, eh? White or black. But yes. But um, I, I want to talk about things. Okay. This is what I wanted to talk about. If... Uh, you didn't agree to come on the show, and I'm glad, I'm, I'm, I'm really grateful that you agreed, that um, I saw a live on social media, mm -hmm. right? This live, again, was the, like, put it this way, the Honorable Lincoln Bean, mm -hmm. right? The leader of the CUI. The leader of the CUI, of course, he is pandering and trying to get the general public to support him. He's trying to make a name out of himself. He's trying to stay on the issues at hand, right? So I'm going to give him that uh, before I put my issues forward, right? Mm -hmm. In his attempt to be mainstream, to matter, right? At this present time, and again, because he's done it on several occasions, he has decided to side with outside forces in order to diminish our government mm -hmm. in order to get ahead. And there's an African saying, this African saying, especially during slavery, right? That there were always people amongst us, someone amongst us, who is willing to sell out the rest of us in order to get ahead, right? And when I saw this video, this live, where he was talking about, talking to, um, um, who these were, um, I think the label said crypto millionaires. Crypto and millionaires and, 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 and what, what do you call it? Um, pro people who promote things. Oh, uh, influencers. Influencers, crypto influencers. Uh, he said he had about me out there and was taking them to the central um, CID, mm -hmm. right? And to make a claim or press charges against um, uh, Bankman uh, Freed, 
right? And of course, he named, and I, I'm, 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 I remember I'm daring, I'm the bold one who's called people names all the time. And the names that he called, they, those people like Sue, these real bohemian juggernauts, mm-hmm. right? Established. In fact, one is a K- KC that he called and said, and, and hint of corruption, so they are corrupt and they assisted uh, a, a bankman freed in terms of uh, these fraud charges and he wants to bring uh, charges on these bohemian politicals because they, these were politicians slash former politicians and senior lawyers, mm-hmm. right? And I was concerned saying, you know, this boy keep on doing that. And of course, in another address, another uh, a live, he suggested that all of our politicians, and then the, even the sitting government, but he uh, uh, is corrupt in some manner, and they're in collusion mm-hmm. with Bankman Freud, Freud Freed in order to um, get money away from the from their investors inside FTX. Go ahead, Aaron. Isn't he a politician too? Yes, he. I mean, I mean, I don't have a seat, corrupt? but he is a politician. Yeah. But he his. Agenda is he's the only savior the Bahamas. of the Bahamas. The only way to save the Bahamas is if you vote a Lincoln Bean, uh, vote a COI, because both the FNM and the PLP are two sides of the coin. You know, he uses that phrase mm-hmm. uh, all, 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 all the time. But I am concerned about the verbiage, I'm concerned about the narrative he portrays because he's trying to be on the fence and say, well, it's not Bahamian. Right, it's mm-hmm. the politicians, and mind you, our politics is made up of Bahamians. Yeah, right. We are part of the process. We vote them in. We vote them out. We partake in in, in, in the spoils of of this country. But the narrative of suggesting that our country is corrupt, and there's nobody who is challenging that, especially when there are international people. We're citing on international people who claims that our country. The members of our country, citizens, you, Aaron, you, Aaron, uh-huh. that you are a pirate or the descendant of pirate, and pirate blood, blood thrives within you, and that you can't help yourself but to be corrupt and to steal money from white, unexpected, decent people. First of all, there's a difference between a pirate and a buccaneer, and I don't think you should disparage pirates in that way. I- I- all coins have a fringe, it's more than two sides. Mm-hmm. All coins get more than two sides. So you say that. And the third side is the fringe. You say that Lincoln may be a fringe. I fringe mean, party. I think he's a part of the coin. Mm-hmm. Uh, this question of corruption to suggest that nobody in this country but him and his people have been attempting, have been fighting against corruption. That's like when I read the people them say that they've been pioneering, that they have pioneered hydroponic container grow in the Bahamas. It just, on the surface of it, it doesn't make any sense. Mm hmm. You know, you, you could see plainly that it's just uh, some his, histrionics. It's just some rhetoric to drive the emotions of the people and to draw us to a particular narrative. I'm still trying to figure out if you have trained uh, what they call alphabet agencies, if you have trained alphabet agencies in crypto, right, then why are you in the Bahamas looking lost, not knowing how to file a case? Like, like, mm. like were you unable to engage your issue any other way? Mm. It, it all seems like theatrics. It does seem like theatrics. And histrionics and rhetoric. Um, and I'd be very concerned. I am very concerned. I don't, I'm uncomfortable with it and, and the way that it has gone down. Um, and now we just wait to see it play out. Um, I don't feel alive. Uh, yes. Uh, n- n- no, no. I watched until he was at the door buzzing to go into the police station. Mm-hmm. And then I changed the channel. Yeah. I'm not sure what happened when he, uh, when he got into the police station. Did you yeah. watch beyond that? No, I uh, had difficulty staying connected to mm. the feed, to the internet. Let me have you block. Go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. You Somebody know. got me blocked. <laughs> I don't know who it is yet. But you know, he started off with a narrative. He addressed yeah. the, the crowd of, of foreign um, personnel. Yeah. Right. Um, these influencers and these, according to uh, millionaires, uh, who, uh, FTX. And in, in fact, one lady corrected him, said she has nothing to do with FTX. Mm-hmm. Uh, who lost her million dollars? She's called another uh, cryptocurrency. I think the name was Celsius. Celsius. Yes. She called right, and of course, she he to me he hushed her. You know, sh- 
I like say in FTX now. Yeah, we'll yeah. Just stick with that. This, this is the narrative I'm going with. Yeah. Right? And um, I find it odd that, remember, remember this is second press, because remember you had that Bitcoin boy uh, yeah. uh, who, who he brought here, who's calling the whole Bahamas corrupt. Bitboy right? or something Bit like boy. that. Bitboy. Yeah. And, and he's saying the politicians, the police, uh, whoever else here, yeah, the lawyers. Too? Yeah. See, coming right back to him. Here. And he's a lawyer. Yeah. And a politician. Yes. You're just talking about yourself. Or anyway. Um, but see, my concern is, I understand his agenda is, at least he wants to say that he's trying to put the fire under our government's feet. Yeah. He's trying to promote accountability, right? But without any evidence, without any credence, he lays some charges out, which is spreading a narrative, an international narrative, especially when we are dealing with a false narrative about the Bahamas, knowing that we are using our laws I, I find that dis dangerous uh, for any behemoth to partake. It's one to be grumbling amongst ourselves and say we, we go hold your foot to the fire. But when you join forces with foreign entities it's, it's, to it's, diminish our government, right. to diminish our people. And, and nobody's, uh, uh, this is not an attempt at erasure, right? Nobody's uh, suggesting that there are not corrupt elements in the Bahamian government system or there are not corrupt elements in the Bahamian political system. No one is suggesting that. But to suggest that the Bahamas is more corrupt mm. than any other nation, right, is ridiculous and it's disingenuous. It's silly. It's, it's, it's foolish. And inappropriate, actually. Especially right. when we know the narrative of our... We know their history. We know their narrative. We know how, how, how they, 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 they manage in general. Right. And, to, and to know we are a developing nation and put us juxtaposed to a, a country that is struggling to do, we, to do good, you know, yeah. uh, where, we, where we question uh, if black lives really matter in that country. And I'm, I'm, I'm here also echoing the prime minister where it's in black, black ran countries also matter. Mm -hmm. It seems as if they're creating a narrative where they are wanted to diminish us as a people and that we no longer count to do anything. Right, and... Uh Given the context presented, right, you could just sit there and, and, and easily say, hey, you know what, these guys are right. They're, you know, they're just, we're, just, we're just corrupt and we shouldn't be allowed to play with the big yes. guys, right? Yes. But imagine that a jurisdiction who has been identified as the largest launderer of money in the world would suggest that a country like ours is so corrupt that they should not be allowed to participate in the financial services industry, right? Imagine the narrative coming out of this FTX interrogation is that not only do European states have to regulate crypto, but they have to regulate the country's crypto operations as well. I mean, it is a slap in the face, and it is ridiculous, right? How could you already have been identified as the most corrupt? Yes. And then suggest to us that we are one of the biggest problems. But you're not uh, requiring those same reforms in your own country. Mm -hmm. And so to, so to then have that conversation sit in, this, in that context, right? Mm -hmm. It's just, just, it's ridiculous. So I have this text here. It said, morning, C.A. CA Nuri. I love your show. My contribution today is... As I was watching the news in Haiti, the unrest and its growing gang violence concern I concern. I would like to encourage all those Haitian activists that you had on your show and all my abled Haitians advocates to let's try to come together and get our home Haiti together instead of muscling other countries. We need all Haitian hands on deck to get Haiti back on track. I know it's an open line, so I, I, and so yeah, I, I definitely would entertain. But, but, but it, it's, it's, it's not far off of this conversation, right? But let me ask you a question. Yeah. Have you had any Haitian activists on your, on your show? Yeah, man. You, I, I've never had any. I mean, I, I technically, I, I do engage in migrant rights advocacy. But I, no, I told Haitian and activists, you're talking about migrant rights. It's two different things. I mean, I guess so. Yeah. I yeah, mean, I do. I, Bahamians who promote... Uh, I, uh, ideas and content for other behem other behemoths of Haitian descent here. Yeah, I have yeah. that, but I don't. I, I haven't had any full. No man, I I, I, I have because I've, I've worked with. Uh, I don't know if you guys remember uh, uh, Matthew I think, Matau. Uh, he, 
he was a Haitian HIV and AIDS advocate. Okay. Right? And then he advocated in Haiti and in the Bahamas. Um, and so I've had him on my show. It's not a problem. You, you trying to have an Haitian agenda on your show? I, I, I watching you. No? I mean, Haitians are African, and I'm African, and I definitely have a pan-African agenda on see, my show, without they, a doubt. See, you win. Right, but let, you know, let's, you, you let's, win. You win. let's, let's go back to it. Go ahead. The, the text, uh, that's a, a, a great call to action, not to arms. Get rid of that violent talk. It's mm -hmm. a great call to action, right? But it's disingenuous to think that a handful of Haitians living in the Bahamas, right? That that's all you need is a, a con conscientious, concerted effort of right-thinking Haitians or, or Bahamians of Haitian descent to fix what's happening in Haiti. That or if just all we need is for all of the Haitians in the Bahamas to pack up all of their resources, all of their bright minds, and go home and contribute it to Haiti. That's disingenuous and mm. it's dangerous, mm -hmm. and it, it ignores the very real global, global foreign policy that is dictating the dynamics in Haiti right now. So you say, in essence, uh, the 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 text is being flippant and simplistic in suggesting that the the bright minds here can solve all of Haiti's problems. Not 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 flippant, right? Uh, I think misguided or uninformed. That's an educated person. And not really clued. This, 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 this wasn't misguided. It was purposely said. I can give them the benefit of the doubt. You can give it the benefit of the doubt. Yeah, it would be rude of me to say that they're stupid. No, I'm right. going to give them the benefit I, of the nope. doubt, he well, said. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to suggest that they are unaware of the global foreign policy that dictates what happens in Haiti on a daily basis. Mm hmm so I have some more text. It says, morning, Miss Green and Miss Nuri. Can you either tell me where can consumers make complaints against faulty repair services? Thank you. Do you uh, know anything about that? Consumer protection services. I don't have a number. I can pull it up. Uh, if you go to a text, I can look for it right now. Read another text. Oh, yeah, I was reading the text oh, before. Yeah, yeah. I say, <laughs> great show as usual. Question. How come when ever learned person, I guess that's personal, you think the general public will ever have a mature conversation about the, the topic? Uh, well, that's, yeah, immigration is an emotive topic in the Bahamas. Mm -hmm. And uh, we, and it, it always has an issue amongst working class people because we, we are competing for, for resources. And so when you see there is a direct competition for resources, and, and in this case, this will be working class behemoths, and, 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 and this, in this instance, um, uh, working class or poor immigrants, right, fighting for the same uh, small resources, there will always be conflict. And I think that was the issue. And I think that if our, our middle class was thriving and doing well, we would even see the Haitian stem. We said, man, they had to plant. Right? They had to do the bottom job. But because we, we are competing and, and, and things are kind of tough at this present time, we see that a number of behemoths are up in arms about it. But well, it's a problem that we need to address. That's a great point that you make, because why are we competing? Why, why is the working class competing for resources? Are they being pit against each other in an attempt to obfuscate and distract us? from the siphoning of resources by people who aren't actually producing anything. Wait, look here, Cecil, I need to stop talking. Let me give you this number. for Consumer Affairs Office, uh, and that's uh, the Consumer Protection Services, 356-9391 through 5. 356-9391 through 5. That means 9391-9392. 9393, 9394, and 9395. You can email them at info at That's info at org. And I see another text. I see an Aaron. I think Mr. Bean is attacking our country and doing more harm than good. It's disingenuous and disgraceful to imply that we all are corrupt. Shame on you, Mr. Bean. His slanderous and narcissistic uh, personality is the bigger problem. And say, so, CA, you, you had Luby Georges on your show weekly. He is a Haitian activist. 
And I don't necessarily think Luby George is, is a Haitian activist. First, he's bohemian, mm-hmm. right? And he speaks about rights amongst people living in the Bahamas, mm-hmm. not necessarily about Haitians abroad. And um, see, see what I, it's the definition, the wording that, that is being used. I, I think that he speaks more for bohemian of Haitian descent who are in the middle or who deserves uh, rights on some level. And I, I, I think that we need different type of bohemians doing that. Time to say, man, no, Louis, you're wrong on this one. Mm-hmm. But I understand the overarching theme of what he's trying to do. And mind you, there are a number of things I disagree with Luby about. So no, no, no. Um, but I appreciate you putting the argument through. And let's, uh, let's uh, mas- massachinate it through the courts. And then whatever the courts decide, it is what we go with. And there are a number of challenges that he and Fred Smith did. I say, hey, I would like to know what the court would decide on it. And yeah. I appreciate that, the effort. And I think sometimes the uh, public discourse uh, like prevents us having to go to the court, right? Sometimes the uh, public discourse alone when engaged properly, like you really attempt, you re- a real, real attempt at engaging the public, right, gives us a sense of, of uh, what people are really feeling. Um, and we need to give Bahamians an opportunity to flesh out what it is that they are really feeling without these emotive conversations, right, that are intended to evoke a particular position, the very black and white questions, right? Either you hate Haitians, or you know, and you are mm-hmm. good Bahamian, or you love Haitians, and and you are, are, are you treasonous, you know. Yes, we, yes. we can't continue to frame these conversations in this way. I say unchecked migration is a big problem. Yes, it is a big problem. I also think that only focusing on Haitian migration is a problem. Yes, I think allowing the political class and political actors and agents to use the issue of migration to build, to, to, to raise your temperature, mm-hmm. right, for their own personal political gain is a problem. And most people, when engaged outside of that political context, have very thoughtful, empathetic responses to the questions around Haitian migration. But look here, I got two questions for you. Go ahead. For the trivia. Oh, go ahead for trivia. Let's, let's do that. All right, so you ready for question number one? Mm-hmm. And you got the text line. I have the text line. Uh, the phone lines are still not up yet. I thought we got one up. We, did we get one up, producer? Uh, did we get one up? No, none working? Hello? Hi, how you doing? Oh, we have someone online. It, it didn't blink on this side. It didn't blink. I didn't know that the text phone... Thank you very much for your patience, by the way. Good morning. Aaron, uh, hey, Aaron and CA. Good morning. How are you doing, man, Jeff? Good morning to both of you. Very interesting conversation this morning. Um, the little caveat that I'd like to add into the conversation is this. You know, the, illegal, the, the migration situation, you know, this thing about Bahamian Satan, Satan um, I refer to them as our brothers and sisters from the South. All right? Um, I don't think that's the issue at all. Um, the majority of I, there are two there's two facets to this that we have to pay attention to. First is the the, the main crux of of of, of uh, persons focus at at the migration situation, as you know, is the ones who come into the country unannounced. We don't know who's here in the country. We don't know their backgrounds in terms of. Their, their social activity, whether they are criminals, whether they are rapists, whether they are whatever, we don't know. And um, the mere fact that the government is uh, using resources to try to uh, bring about a, a, a situation where as we can try and control the situation, um, you know, it, it, it basically all goes, goes to naught. What I mean by that is this. We're spending our resources and we send them back. And they somehow, many of them somehow find their way back here, you know. And uh, there seems to be, uh, for, for, for a better word, there seems to be no true cooperation, per se, from the uh, government on that side to encourage their citizens to stay at home or come the right way. That is, that is, the, that is the biggest crux that many persons out here in the open, in the open uh, forum or, or in society, have against our brothers and sisters from the South. It's not the matter of hating Haitians. We don't. It's the matter that you have some persons who are here legally, 
who have come the right way harbor some of these people. And that's the other part that comes to this conversation because um, I think what, what needs to happen is we need a lot of those, the persons from those communities to come out publicly and speak about how they abhor these persons who's coming in to put the, that, that basically puts the spotlight on them as well. And Jeff, you know, it's, it's unfortunate, but then that's the way how it is. So Jeff, we have to that, fix the problem. Okay, Jeff, I, I appreciate that. And, and, and I could have that for the next topic. And, and I don't want to stop you say, I want to stop the conversation. Yeah. I'm just writing down that point. So yeah. when I invite Luby Georges back, I'm going to start from that same question that you, that you ended with right there. Why aren't yeah. these activists or uh, advocates advocating that these people stay home? Well, I would appreciate that theory. Yeah, no, no, I, that's, that's a good point. That's why I, that's why yeah, I don't want to say, look, it seems like I'm stopping you, like I don't hear you. No, no, I just no, want to no, stop with that point. All, all for the, all the sake of time. I don't yes. want to take up much time. But let me just say this one quick thing very quickly here. You know, I have many friends in, that, in, in these, some of these communities, and I can tell you many of them, many of them, although they are, they are, they are originally from Haiti, but they came here the right way. Mm -hmm. They are actually speaking out against what's going on as well. And I just think that their voices need to be, be more vocal so those from there would understand that, that they, are, they are some of their own countrymen okay. who have migrated here the right way are also having a problem, a serious problem, with this spotlight being tossed on them, although they, eat, although they came here the right way. Mm -hmm. But the country must be fixed. We must find a dynamic way to fix the country where we can bring some type of stability, not just for the migrants who come here, but also for the Bahamian people so we can become one whole society again. Thanks for taking my call. Uh, certainly, man, Jeff. And I know Aaron has some questions there and he has something to read. No, you read that, Aaron. And um, yes, read that and go straight to the question so we can get at least one question out. All right. Uh, BTC would like to advise customers that we have commenced a disconnection exercise. BTC has easy and convenient ways to pay your bill with my BTC app, online banking, BTC virtual store, fast pay, or call us at 225-5282 to stay connected with BTC. That's 225-5282 to stay connected with BTC. And go straight to the questions, yeah, so let's get that one out. All right, so the first question for mm -hmm. today's 12 days of giveaways uh, is, when was Arawaki, was Arawaki built? Okay, and the first person to either um, text or, or phone call? First person to call. First person to call for that. Anyway, I said this, this texter saying, Aaron is extremely, extremely, extremely disingenuous for you all to discuss your eye and his, and his agenda. See, says his agenda, can you imagine? Yeah. Knowing that you all are illegal immigrants and pro-illegal immigrants. Okay. I'm, a, I'm an illegal immigrant? Apparently. That's the Mitchell oh. side of you. Anyway, mm -hmm. next one says, CA, I would, uh, I would call, but knowing that you like to talk over all your guests and twist their words, I wouldn't even waste my time. But you all are biased because of your origin. See, they call me immigrant too. That's me and you. Mm -hmm. Anyway, say good morning, CA. While why are you all discussing crypto if you all don't understand how it works? Have you ever bought crypto or lost any funds, millions in crypto? Because if you did, you would not be saying that you are what you are saying. Louis is not behemoth, boy. Wake, wake up, boy. Now I'm going to stick with the crypto one. Why are we talking crypto? I'm not necessarily talking crypto. I'm talking about the issue at hand in terms of the extradition. I'm mm -hmm. talking the issue at, at hand in terms of the COI leader is suggesting that everyone is, in the Bahamas is corrupt and that he's creating a narrative uh, that's going globally, which we are trying to shake off, especially uh, uh, and the narrative is going, it's being spread across all the behemoths. Mm -hmm. They're saying that we all are pirates, we all are cor corruption, all right? And, and you see that people are writing articles, it's like a background topic. Yeah. Did we mention any crypto? I mean, not really, only be called the, but, um, the, like the people who we was talking to are part of the crypto world. Yeah, so that's, that's crypto. Yeah, I don't so, think we so ever... So if you didn't buy no crypto, you can't talk about those people. Yeah. You can't talk with Lincoln either with his crypto. But thing. I feel like if you bought crypto, then you can't talk either because you're... You get hoodwinked, deceived, you may bamboozled. Be you may be compromised. Yeah, yeah, you know. You <laughs> right? get, your money get taken, you vaxxed, now you won't talk about it. You know, because you get, you get finessed. 
Like, I never got finessed by no crypto, boy. Right. Pay attention to producers so we could see if a call came in. Uh, any more calls coming, producer? No, it doesn't show on, on the Oh, no, it's true. Go ahead. <laughs> put, a, put a call in. I see that. I'm looking right here. I see That's that. That's why you're letting me sit over there. <laughs> yeah. Hello. Go ahead, caller. Good day, see any we and your guest. <laughs> yeah, I've been having calls. I didn't see none of these calls. Go ahead. You're, 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 also, you're also busy. Oh, in the morning. You're also busy. You're, you know what I mean? Yeah, I understand, man. <laughs> Go I ahead. would like to know who's in the morning. Is he the spirit. <laughs> Listen, I got a little pet peeve. It might be a little sidebar from what the topic is, right? But I observe the lighting on Bay Street. It is beautiful. The Christmas tree. Yes, it is. And all the lighting. But if we go turn this thing around in terms of being patriotic, why do we have American Christmas? You have Bahamian John Canoe and Bahamian Christmas music playing in the square, man. I can tell you why. I can tell you why. Hold on. I can tell you why. Because the people who are responsible for that project forgot, right? They forgot uh -huh. that there is a radio station that's dedicated to Bahamian music, and they could have found any playlist they want there. They forgot that we have uh, businesses that sell music that will make you a Bahamian Christmas music playlist. They forgot that these things are available. And because oh, okay. there's no website where you could just plug in. A Bahamian music playlist. It wasn't easy, and and they got overwhelmed, and they forgot. That's oh, it. Good day, Aaron. How you doing? I good, thank you. Very, yes, man, sir. You 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 being sarcastic, or you really being <laughs> serious? Good. Well, I mean, it, it it suggests that they're not rooted in Bahamian culture in the way that they should be. They should be. Yeah, for this position. That was only disappointing thing for me. It's so beautiful. Yeah. But that American music, Christmas music, man, we gotta do better than that, man. And the but Bahamian. Anyway, Huh? You write, sir, because the Bahamian version of Gee Whiz is Christmas is better than any version ever. I don't understand what I'm talking about, man. If you want to get in that young canoe spirit down there. Yeah, yeah. Yes, Tell sir. the valley come. Anyway, thanks, eh? <laughs> so it's valley in the morning, not roots. No problem. Thank you very much, caller. Um, say good morning. We asked the question. Yeah, yeah. Re repeat, re read that question again. The question is the first question is when was Arawaki built? Okay, and you can call in for that to get that answer. We have some good price today. So good morning, CA. You're wrong. COI is not slandering the Bahamas. They are discussing what government is doing. In no other country can illegal immigrants come and have more power than actual residents because we need more Bohemian advocates to fight for our rights. Pause. Let me respond to that, dear texter. Migrants don't come here and have more power than Bahamians. Migrants come here and have more power than some Bahamians. That's it, right? What you need to focus on is why does the political class pit migrants against working class Bahamians, right? Stop accusing people of beating up your party when all they do on the radio is give you good advice every day. Focus on why the political class is pitting the migrant class against the working class. And this isn't new to the Bahamas. Mm -hmm. This happens all over the place. The second thing I want to say is if me and Cecil A invest in crypto so we can't talk about crypto, then you're telling me because you all invested in corruption, you all could talk about corruption? I'm yeah. just asking. Yeah. 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 I have another caller there. Bruce and Pastor calling through. Go ahead, caller. Can you hear me? Yeah. Good morning, Mr. Murray. Good morning, uh, Aaron. Good morning. How you guys doing? Good, good. Doing well, man. I am Mr. Murray. I only advocate for one uh, heritage or one nationality over the other. Wouldn't you call that person an activist for that particular <laughs> nationality? Um. And it depends on, 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 on how you put it. No, you say heritage and nationality, that's two different things, right? Well, yeah, um, but, well heritage and nationality. I, I, I'm, I, I'm sure you know I'm a Pan-Africanist. Actually, Aaron is a Pan-Africanist right. also. I've never heard that person talk about Africa yet. Uh, uh, you, you, you never, hold on, you never heard me talk about Africa? No, 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 no I'm not talking about you right Or that other person? And, that other person. And we push Pan-African ideas as, as who we are, right? right? You do. Right? You and Aaron do. Yes, um, but that Bahamas wouldn't that wouldn't uh, separate me to say I'm not a good Bahamian. I talk right, about the Bahamas but, but all the time. We're not talking about you. I mean, I'm talking about Aaron. But my question to you is, why can't we call that person what they are, an activist for the Haitian community? Because I I've seen him do activist work for women and seen him do active, activist work for children. So I would have to include all of that. That's what you call that. But but we'll leave it there because that's neither here or there. What I really call about was. Um, What's so different about what Mr. Lincoln being in this party is doing 
compared to what the previous parties have done in the past. Because we, we've seen the, leaks, the WikiLeaks documents um, with um, our current former prime ministers, not current, well, yeah, current also, and former prime ministers in the United States Embassy talking about the five in power. What's different between what he's doing now? I, I don't think that happened in WikiLeaks, though. I don't yeah, think that I, actually happened in WikiLeaks. I, I'm, those, are, those are actual documents that the U.S. government have not refuted. I, I, I'm scared because you're right. I, 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 I am very concerned because Lincoln Bain is acting in a similar way. And I wonder if this is the road to the House of but Assembly. This is how our government have, have always played the role. And we, we, we've, we've had the conversation about one particular member who might be a uh, you know, con, con, con confidential informant. But you mean the former no, Prime no, Minister no, Hubert Ingram with the number CI 1622? It's public uh, record. But, but the point is, the only difference I think we, have, we see now is Lincoln is putting some things publicly about what our government is doing. But like I said, in the past, we've had former and current prime ministers have been doing the same thing. But I ain't going to say. I don't, still don't agree that we had um, prime ministers or former prime ministers or politicians going into the U.S. embassy to work for the U.S. government. I mean, like, get a paycheck. I don't think Lincoln doing that either. I, I'm, I'm almost certain he's not like on make a call. the State Department's payroll. Mm -hmm. I, mm -hmm. I, I'm almost certain of that, right? Like, I don't... And I don't know if that's what you get when you get a CI number. Like, if you get a pay stub with it, I'm not certain about that either. Um, but what he said is so fascinating. Because what he's saying is that uh, Lincoln Bain anathema, right? Like to the, he's not special, he's not unique? To the political culture. And I'm saying that's the problem. Like, I partially, that's the problem. How is it that you are standing up to say that you are fighting against these parties? How you get up to say that you're trying to deconstruct what it is that they've done, but you operate just like them? Mm -hmm. We have another caller, Aaron. Uh, Patrick Caller, their true producer. Go ahead, uh, caller. Caller, can you hear me? Hi, how are you doing? Great. Um, you had a question as to when our was built? Yes. My answer to that is 1969 when they dredged the harbor. That's the right answer? That's the correct answer. Okay, uh, caller, leave your number, uh, your cell phone number. With, and your name. And your name, of course, sorry for that, uh, with the producer, so we can call you back and, and get you access to your prize. Sure. Excellent. Congratulations again, by the way. Thank you. Let's throw another question quickly. You ready? Yeah. Okay. It's connected to that. Uh, Ma'am, I don't know if you could answer the second question, because you seem sure. well-educated on this. She got a call this. back, and she <laughs> would try to win that. What was the name of the site where Arawaki is, what was the name before it was named Arawaki in 1969? I know that. I remember Sparky called a couple of times saying that name. I actually know that. Yeah. I, yeah, I know the answer for that. I didn't know 1969, but I know the answer for this one. Yeah, yeah. So, okay. Um, well, let's see. Any more texts? Um, both of you, I guess you're including you and me again. Yeah, yeah. Uh, both of you only want to advocate for Haitians. There you go. Use a Haitian lover, Aaron. And Bohemians, and I don't see how y'all could think that that is not troublesome to Bohemians. This is the Bahamas, and no one ever said COI invested in FTX. Again, that's slander. Did you say that, Cesar? No, nah, I don't talk about it. I never said that. Uh, I, I mean, I never said that. No, I never said that either. You're making things up yeah. as they go. And no? I would hate to think that y'all is taking crown land to make money to go invest in things like that. I would hate to think that, right? Um, dear Texter. I don't, like, I don't even know how to respond to that because what I've been saying for decades is, uh, I mean, only two because I ain't that old yet, but is that why are you only focused on Haitian, Haitian migrants when you look at shanty towns, right? If you're truly advocating for Bahamians, you would realize that there is a housing crisis and that we're never going to solve it if while Bahamians are demanding access to affordable and safe housing, the Bahamian government is subsidizing beds for tourists mm. to sleep in mm -hmm. when they come to visit us, mm -hmm. right? You want to talk about advocating for Bahamians on the housing crisis, mm -hmm. and you will solve the problem for everybody, mm -hmm. because undocumented migrants would not have a place to hide if every single Bahamian had a safe place 
to live. Mm. That's the simple answer. The math don't math any better than that. If you make housing available to all Bahamians, you won't have shanty towns for migrants, undocumented migrants to hide in. Mm -hmm. I see someone was calling this now, but they hang up right now. Uh, we'll be calling back. Uh, producer, patch them through for me, please. Go ahead, call them. A very pleasant good afternoon. I'm calling to answer the trivia. You know the answer? Yes, sir. Go ahead, ma'am. The answer before our key was Kelly Island. Yes, ma'am. You are correct. Congratulations there, ma'am. Thank so, you so much. Just and have a very Merry Christmas. Yeah, don't hang up yet. You got to leave your name and your cell phone number with the producer so we can get in contact with you and get your prizes to you. Okay, thank you. Okay, hold on there. Do you have any other questions? We're going to try to throw these out quickly. We have three gifts. Oh, no, no read some text and I got Read some text, you can look, look for permission. Okay, whilst we, whilst we go, let's see. Everyone showed no, the Western Espionage, that was wrong. This one saying it was long, long wharf, that was wrong, right? It said, this question, this text says, Lincoln Bean will do anything to be elected. It is sad and frustrating to watch. Shame, shame you have some people who are desperate for free things. And, and, you know those person who will burn down the entire village in order to be king of a burnt out city? Yeah. That's the being at that time. That he's willing to, willing to destroy the whole Bahamas in order to govern it, to be in charge, to say he's prime minister. And I, I, don't, I, I have a problem with that. You know, and there are some people saying, don't worry about that. We need to throw, uh, we need to throw over some chairs. We need to broke up the place. We need to uh, burn down the place and start from scratch. But that's chaos. And, and I think that the, the COI and its membership, and of course its leader, is running towards chaos. Um, I see you have another caller there. Producer Patch, call it through for me, please. Go ahead, caller. Hello. How you doing, ma'am? Good, good. I'm going to try to answer that question right. about Arawaki. Uh, you know that someone already um, answered it. But go ahead. What you was going to say? No, you said what was the name before that? Yeah, someone answered that already. But I oh, want to hear what you. Oh, I want to hear what you oh. said. Go ahead. What your answer was? Esplanade. No, see, that was going to be the wrong answer too. Oh, okay. But the correct answer is Kelly Island. Oh, Kelly, oh. Kelly Island, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kelly, yeah, Kelly, Kelly Island. Island. <laughs> the correct answer was Kelly Island. So you're just going to get that wrong still. But I mean, yeah, I appreciate yeah. you calling in. Thanks okay. very much, man. We should hear you. If you're sure. going to ask the next question right now, so you listen out, hang up and listen out and see if you can win that one. Okay. All Good. right. Bye. You know? Um, see, my thing, um, uh, Aaron, is that the narrative, he is joining the choir of those people who are anti bohemian who think all if you'd like to make who thinks all Caribbean nations, who think all black majority black countries are incompetent and, and, and unintelligent, uh, don't have the skills and the crafts to to govern themselves. And see that is what I'm very concerned about, right? Mm -hmm. He is feeding into that narrative and, and whilst they kick in with him and he's smiling up and down and say, Yes, I, I'm I'm getting clout and these international people are here uh, to listen to me. Right or listen to him, um, they are creating a, uh, a narrative where they aim to destroy us. Then that's not to say hold the Bahamas in accountability or have a better Bahamas. Their goal is they don't think anybody in this country, black, white, or Chinese, Jews or Gentile, is competent at all. And that is what we need to be fighting against. And when we find out that there are people who view us in that particular way, we can't be on their side. We can't be on their side because they aim to destroy and kill us. So therefore, we will say, hey, 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 if we may have issue amongst ourselves, but I can't join you in the destruction of my people. And that's where my concern is. You have another uh, question for me yet? I had another question, but, but I, I am unsure about it. Because the question I want to ask is, what is the first financial institution in the Bahamas? I don't answer that. So you can ask that question because I know that you didn't show up with the answer, right? Because I get in, uh, multiple answers, but let's answer it. Okay, go ask answer. it. So the next, the third question of the day is: mm -hmm. What was the first financial institution in the Bahamas? Okay. And when was it established? But see, look where you're going with that question. That would have to Google that then. Yeah. So you need to have the answer. Just the first time. part. Don't yeah, worry about when it was established. I mean, I, I, I'm willing to throw in an extra. But we show up with that, the, 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 you, you show up with the next part of the answer? Yeah. I mean, from what I have here. Okay. If yeah. they match up if they match up with uh, two of that uh, uh, question, we give them like a two, 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 two gift. 
or one and a half or big gift. You give him a big gift. Yeah, yeah. You give him a big, big gift if you get a two. Yeah, yeah. Right? Okay. Okay, see if you have a caller, caller there. Go ahead, producer. Patrick, call it through. Go ahead, caller. Caller, can you hear me? Hello. Hey, hello. How you doing? How you doing? Doing well, man. I come to answer the question, what was the first financial institution in the Bahamas? You know, you know it's a two-part question. I mean, you can get that question right, right? But, I mean, if you get both parts, you get a bigger price. But go ahead. Just go see if you get a first price. Uh, was it the government saving bank? That's what I have here, Mr. Nuri. Government saving bank? That's exactly what I have here. The government saving bank? And what year? What's the government saving bank? Go ahead, Carly. We still, we still talking to you. Hello, you can hear me? Yeah, yeah. 1835? That's what I have here. The, yeah, you got to give him a good, big rice. Yeah, yeah. We gotta, I get, you get the dinner? So I, I write? Yeah, yeah, yeah. According to her, 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 her Google, you write. I, I, I kind of... Oh, you're using Google? Yeah, I got what you, Hold on, wait. What you using? Andy, I, I, did, I did a research paper on this a long time ago. Look at you. Well, look here. See, maybe this... You think he's the one who write it on Google? The right answer? <laughs> it says, the first financial institution in the Bahamas was established in 1835 as a government savings bank. In 1837, it expanded its function to include commercial banking services, and it was formally changed to the Public Bank of the Bahamas. In 1889, the Bank of Nassau was formed. Well, you won't get that correct that answer from me. This is from uh, journals, uh, it looks like San Francisco University, California. So the Americans know more about us. Because I didn't know the answer. I thought I knew the answer. I was going to say Royal Bank. I but listen, come. Stephen Arana had to go, to, I think he's now Dr. Stephen Arana, had to go to Germany. To find out. Okay. To go and, uh, and do his thesis on the Bahamas. Oh, oh see where you're going. Okay, but, uh, caller. Caller, you still there? Uh, uh, speak to the producer. I want you to leave your name and your, uh, and your, and your cell phone number. I, I'll, get, I'll give him the dinner. I'll give him the dinner. I, I'll text him back. I'll give him the dinner. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. You have any more questions? Because I'll, I'll, I'll turn in a, a fourth one. No, I don't have any. Okay, anyway, it's, fi it's, it's 57. So that's, that's, we get the three. We got the three questions out. Uh-huh. Um, Wednesday, we have the two-hour show. Yeah. And we have more prizes for that Wednesday show also. Right. Right? And uh, let's list the prizes that we gave away on Friday. Oh, for Friday, when we're going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I texted everybody. We got the three... Cookie Caterers. Right. Uh, uh, gift certificates. The $20 mm -hmm. gift certificate voucher. And um, then we had the... Uh, the two runoffs, right? The runoffs. Like the second what, places. What are the second places going? They are journals from Pontiana Press, uh, Pontiana Paper Press. Okay. So they're like diaries. Uh, mm -hmm. Journals you can write in. You can use it as a uh, family schedule, right? To put all the important dates and tasks in. Mm -hmm. You can give it one of your, to one of your children to keep a journal. You could give it to one of your parents to start writing down stories. You won't get an extra one of those. Yeah, I think I may have a couple more to give away. I mean, I mean, why one for me? I think we may have that because I'm going to ask people, Cecil, to tell us their independent story. Like, I want to know your story. And we can give a prize for that. No, I mean, possibly. It's a good chance we can give a prize for that. But I want to give people journals and get them into the spirit of writing down these gems. And people have Independence Day story? Yes, people have it. Listen, I asked the people, Cecil, I asked the people, what don't mind Livingston, Josiah, the JP mean? And this gentleman call in and tell us about this songwriter and comedian, Bagado, that used to who's from Fox Hill, that used to sit on the wall opposite Miriam Roker's house, the, ed the educator, right? And uh, Diamond Claire's mother, the historian and playwright, is writing a play about Miriam Roker. And all of that because the boy called in to tell me about Bagado. The people them got to start writing these gems down, and I want them to tell us their independence story. So we do that Wednesday? Well, no, we don't have to. No, no, I just we don't have to do that Wednesday. Well, I mean, if you want to do it Wednesday, we do it Wednesday. I think I also want to do. You know, what's the most important story for the year? I want people to tell us what they think was the biggest okay, okay. local story for the year. You know, okay. so it's an open line telling the story on Wednesday, and plus we're doing the gifts, the gift certificates. Yeah, the, the give twelve days of Christmas. At least it's less than one week now. Yeah, like look here. If I tell you my independence story, you will key key key. I, you were old enough for Independence Day. Yeah, man. I, but I mean, not on... It, it, no, it doesn't have to be an Independence Day. Like, I was there in 1973, and my Grammy made me bathe three times before I could go out on the park. I mean, it could be that type of story, but it's your connection to independence. I can tell you how I get gang coming from the tattoo. Well, tell that story. Yeah, I get beat back. 
And if the story is important to you, I ain't important. It's like a, like a, like a story you make you cry. I mean, bricks broke on my on, on my head coming back. That's some gang gang area, not era nineteen ninety two type thing. We need to talk about that. That's some we West need, Hill Street people. We need to talk about how o- almost all national activities, like Junkanoo and Independence events, were marred by and the young people growing Violence. up through that area, that that era, right? Mm. That all of their experiences. But these events are tied in with some sort of social violence or social uh, dysfunction. I like you, that. you couldn't go to Junkanoo without getting molested. I know. Male or female. I know about that. You can walk on over clocks. So we can talk about that. Yeah, man. Wednesday. Absolutely. It's now 12 o'clock, Aaron. It's we got to go. We got to go. Yeah. It's been uh, Garden Radio AM, and thank you very much, Aaron Green, for joining me, as Absolutely. usual. Thank you very much. So we on uh, on again Wednesday together. Yeah, yeah. And Wednesday, we'll be having a big discussion giveaway. Yeah. As usual, for the two hours. I want you to look in that, in that bag and see who face on that shirt. Yeah? We're giving that away. We're giving that, that shirt away. Yes, we are. Okay. Absolutely. Have a wonderful day. <laughs>